Welcome to Science, Health and Healing Library of Children's Health Core. I'm Dr. Majid Ali. The subject of this article is Say No to Fasting Glucose, Please, Part 1. Say No to Fasting Blood Glucose Test, Please. I'm going to give you the numbers in a glucose and insulin test and then explain why I think it's a huge mistake if you look at your laboratory test results and the blood sugar is in the normal range and you say everything is okay. So for this person fasting blood sugar is 88 which would be considered within the normal range. Most laboratory these days used up to 99 blood sugar value as normal milligrams per deciliter. At one hour, the blood sugar is 221. Clearly, this person is pre-diabetic, even by the mainstream thinking, according to the criteria of American Diabetic Association. At the end of two hours, the blood sugar is 84. At the end of three hours, it is 66. I'll give you the insulin. Fasting insulin 7 at 1 hour 55, at 2 hours 57, at 3 hours 15. Fasting insulin in many healthy people is less than 2, and the peak insulin value in many people is less than 30. This tragedy I see happen with such frequency that I continue to bring such cases to this encyclopedia. If you look at the insulin levels, it will tell you 10, 15 years ahead of time who is going to develop diabetes, who will end up on dialysis machine, who will develop memory problems, Alzheimer's disease, stroke, and heart attack, and who won't. I have made my case in other programs, I think for non-emergency situations, and non-insulin dependent diabetes, fasting insulin testing should be banned. 7% of a large series that I published with perfectly normal fasting glucose turned out to be flat out diabetic, not pre-diabetes in this case, but flat out diabetes as they looked at the three hour glucose, but I'm not interested in that. When you allow someone to tell you that you have diabetes and pre-diabetes based on blood sugar, that person is, that doctor has disempowered you. The only thing you can do is to take diabetes pills. When I tell you that you are insulin toxic, there's only one person who can reverse your insulin toxicity, which is you, by decreasing the body, by de-inflaming the body, by losing weight by making the right choices in the kitchen, by becoming smart in slow insulin release foods, and there are several programs on this encyclopedia devoted to that subject. So please watch this program a second time, write down the values, and then reflect on it. Just become familiar with it again. The fasting blood sugar was 88, perfectly normal at 1 hour 221, clearly pre-diabetic, uh, by some standards diabetic, at 2 hours 84, at 3 hours 66. But let's look at insulin. Fasting 7, 1 hour 55, 2 hours 57, 3 hours 15. I would not want anyone who comes to visit this encyclopedia for issues of blood sugar, insulin, pre-diabetes, diabetes, memory, heart attacks, dialysis, to really not know this until it's too late, 15 years later. Thank you for joining me. Children's Health Court was founded by Talat, my wife and I, some years ago. Our vision is to provide authentic information untainted by corporate deceptions to people all over the world free of cost. Please support us, forward this YouTube segment to your email, Facebook, Twitter contacts. Should you wish to support us more, go to our website.
www.kids123.org. On the home page, there is a link, how can I help? Click it and it will take you to the page where we make specific suggestions and we invite you to be part of our effort so it becomes your effort for your children, yourself, your family, and hopefully for children all over the world. Thank you. Thank you so much.